Well, hello there. This is Diamond from Diamond Shine Soap. I'm excited to talk to you guys today. If you did not hit that like button, I don't know what you're sitting here waiting for. And if you ain't subscribed to the channel, I got a problem with you, okay? Me and you gonna fight. Anyway, guys, I'm excited about this project that we're about to do. If you guys have not joined a Patreon, you are totally bummed out. You are missing out on so much, guys. I have so many lotion, bath bombs, soaps, wax melts, magnesium lotion, hair butter, hair oil, you name it. It's so much stuff in there. Just like on a $5 level, those people get so much. Like if you have not joined, I, listen, you are tripping. If you really want to learn how to make candles, because listen, there's a lot of people out here that want to learn how to make candles, that want to learn how to make wax melts, but you finna go on YouTube and they finna take you through a whole lot. I did not learn how to make candles or anything like that on YouTube. Nothing about my wax melts, nothing about my candles. I learned by spending thousands of dollars. And if you want to be that person to avoid spending thousands of dollars, you want to go ahead and get in that Patreon and just spend that little bit of money to get you. That's like, listen, it's a small investment to make you a millionaire. And if you're going to sleep on that, you're sleeping on your life. All right point blank period all right let's talk about what we're going to do today all right so today y'all we are going to make a scoopable cookie dough textured wax melt period okay this is a period situation it does not harden up overnight it does not harden up over weeks it stays the same texture guarantee okay so when you see this look at this i'm gonna show y'all video that I did yesterday and it came out marvelous okay this is my cookie dough one came out marvelous 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 so if you want to make one and it and it got the, I'm talking about listen and, and you want it to stay the same texture you better get get your behind in that description box and get the recipe because the, the recipe will be in the description box if you guys want the recipe nobody else will give you this recipe all right no other maker will give you let me say that one more time you won't find it on tiktok you won't find it on youtube you won't find it with the ops Y'all only gonna get it from me, so go ahead and get in that description box and get your recipe today, okay, y'all? All right, okay, so let's talk about what we're gonna be using. So, yesterday I made a cookie dough one, y'all, and it came out so good, so beautiful. I used a few different fragrances because I wanted it to be very unique. I wanted it to be like, so this is my idea for my candle business because um, I'm selling this stuff on my website. If, so if you're just a person that want to purchase it off my website, it's in the description box as well. Um, listen, <laughs> I want, when people buy stuff from me, I don't want them to get just like the actual smell. I want them to get a signature scent. So for mine, I I mix together um, ice cream, like an ice cream parlor scent. I mix sugar cookie royale. I mix birthday cake. And um, I think I mix like a little vanilla. All of that together. And it just made just such a, a cookie dough smell. And it just smells so good. So much to the point where I put it on my warmer the next day. And it really, I smelled it. But um, when you guys go to make these, you want to give it about three days just so that you can be able to have like um a strong smell because it's going to take like a few days just for that um fragrance and that you know the ingredients that we're using together to bind okay all right so this is a two ingredient type of situation guys we're using a special um wax in a special oil you know you can't just use any oil you have to use the oil that i recommend because the oil has a certain thickness to it and the wax has a certain thickness to it um that it's not going to actually work if you do it any other way all right so if you want it to look exactly like mine you want to use the ingredients that i'm telling you guys to use all right so without further ado let's go ahead and make our wax melt cookie dough 
first thing you're gonna do is you're going to pour your wax into a bowl and as you guys can see i have everything that i need sitting on the side so you go ahead and take your temperature your wax um, right now is a good time to put your dye in while your wax is still hot okay so you want to go ahead and stir your dye in and at this point um your wax should be cool enough for you to add your fragrance okay so you go ahead and add your fragrance in there and you make sure your fragrance is nice and combined so just stir it for two minutes and after you get done stirring it you want to go ahead and add your special sauce <laughs> to your wax okay and once you add your special sauce to your wax go ahead and stir that for a few minutes just to get everything incorporated together okay and as you guys can see mine is cooling down really really quick but i'm going to speed this process process up by putting mines in the freezer or the refrigerator it don't matter which place and obviously if you add it to the freezer it's going to cool pretty quick but the refrigerator is also cool too if you just want it to move at a certain pace so as you begin to get it and as you can see mines is just starting the process of hardening up you want to go ahead and scrape your bowl down on the sides and this is really important because um you don't want it to be stuck there because that's actual wax that you will be using in your recipe okay so just go ahead and get all of that off the sides of the bowl And as you guys can see, the texture is similar to a sweet potato. That's not what we're looking for. We're really looking for a thick consistency of a cookie dough. So with that being said, guys, go ahead and pop it in the freezer and then take it out. It's important that you guys take it out and just mix it around because you don't want it to have like a whole lot of clumps. Then when you put it inside your piping bag, you're not going to be able to really pipe it into your jar. And also when you put it inside your jar, you're going to have clumps and rocks all inside your jar all right so go ahead and put your candy in there at this phase it's very easy to do it when it's not so thick i mean you could do it after it get thick but it's just a little easier to do it right now so go ahead and put your sprinkles in there and just mix it around because guess what you're about to put this right back in the freezer or the refrigerator so we can get it all the way down to the temperature that we desire So you want to just keep moving this wax around and i know it just may seem like annoying but you know if you have it in a bigger bowl you're really just mixing it and just you know making sure that you don't allow it to get too too thick all right and so what i mean by too thick is like the wax won't get like super thick but it just will get those you see guys y'all see those big pieces in there yes it will get those big pieces and that will be a pain in your booty so keep mixing all right keep 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 mixing as you can see guys we have reached our um 71 and lower consistency meaning that we are at the cookie dough phase guys this thing is looking like a cookie dough looking like a cookie dough looking like it's good enough to eat now i ain't gonna lie to y'all i'm just gonna go ahead and order me some stickers that's gonna say do not eat because this smells so good i let my neighbor smell it and they was like oh i just want to eat it because it just really smell like crumble cookie dough okay all right so as you can see you could pull on it and it stays together um i'm just gonna play around with it for a little bit just so you guys could see this thing look like real cookie dough honey yes siri bob we have a texture right here right here so now i'm gonna go ahead and show out for y'all i'm gonna roll it together like i'm getting ready to make a real cookie okay this is so cute guys because all your customer got to do you send it to them with a spoon and they just pretty much just take it and put it on a wax warmer and just have the aroma of cookies all through the house baby when i tell you you got a good product i'm 
telling you, you got yourself a good product, okay? So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to prepare my piping bag and I have, and I am going to put it inside of a piping bag just so I won't have like, now I can spoon it into my container, but to me that's a little messy i just rather pipe it because it'll go straight into the jar that way so i love it i love it look at the final look at it i even put some spoons all right guys